the best type of date you will ever go on with a woman is the one where you give her the opportunity to be a part of your life, your journey, your lifestyle. You give her an insight on how you move, what you like to do for fun. You can't do that at a restaurant or out to eat. You guys have been doing it wrong for a long time, all right? We're gonna set the record straight in this video. We're gonna give you some amazing advice because this alleviated a lot of stress, a lot of issues, a lot of uh, anger and frustration out of my life, okay? See, all of us men have been raised to ask women out on a date. And asking a woman or asking anybody is asking for permission, which means that they're in control of the decision, which means she's saying yes or no. And you don't want to give a woman that sort of power over you. Because here's the thing. Let's say you meet a woman somewhere, you exchange numbers, maybe off a dating app, wherever. And then you do the typical thing that most of us men have been taught. Hey, I know a nice restaurant across town. You want to go? I know a nice place down the street. A nice restaurant, a nice Thai place, a nice Italian joint. Can I take you? Have you said that? Can I take you here? Can I take you here? What you're doing is you're letting her know that she's the prize. And if you want to get rejected quick, let a woman know that she's the prize, that you are trying to treat her. You don't want to be in a position where you're treating a woman, where you're trying to prove yourself to her. Because when you try to prove yourself, what's going to happen is you're going to be very uptight you're gonna be like a robot. You're gonna be trying to uh, walk by the book and you're gonna be looking up tips on uh, how to have a perfect first date. I've been there a lot of times, guys, trust me. You're going to be looking up online what to say and not to say on a, on a first date. That, that's that's uh, tough. It's gut-wrenching. You start to feel like, like, like it's not fun. So I'm gonna give you a critical key tip that I've been using for years has been really working for me. And I've been getting a lot of success with women by using this. What you have to understand is asking women out on a date or asking say, hey, can I take you over here to this restaurant? Can I take you over here to this concert? Can I do this? Can I do that? Wrong thing to do. Because this thing, let's say she goes on a date with you and she agrees with you. You know what's gonna happen? You're giving her the power to say, uh, I don't wanna go out with him again. You're letting her know that, can you please, uh, can I have the opportunity to take you out again? That's what you're doing when you take a woman out for food for a date. We take a woman out for a nice restaurant. You're asking her, uh, you're basically telling her and relaying a message that uh, your time is so valuable. I hope you had a great time and you don't wanna, you wanna do the right, uh, the wrong thing. You wanna hug her, you wanna kiss her on the cheek. You're gonna just be really rigid about what you're doing because you want that second date. And that's the worst position to be in, to take a woman out, to spend 70, 80, $90, however much money, and hoping that she, one, comes back to your place, which there's a, a high chance she won't, and two, she gives you the permission to take her out again and spend your hard-earned money. Bad position to be in. So here's what you need to do, guys. If you want uh, a woman to continue to come see you and hang out with you and be excited to be in your orbit because again you want her to be a part of your journey you have a, a, a positive fun life you want her to say hmm this guy is cool this guy is fun so here's what you do you invite her to do something that you're already doing okay give her an example send her a text message you say hey I'm going on a hike on a trail near me tomorrow Afterwards, I'm cooking dinner. Want to join? I've been using this for a long time. Copy and paste, use it, okay? It's a lifesaver. Because what you're doing is you're letting her know, listen, I'm going on a trail tomorrow. I'm going on a trail or a hike a Thursday or Friday, whenever, whatever day. Do you want to join me? That's what alphas do. You want to join me. I'm already doing something. I'm not asking you. I'm saying, do you want to join? I'm not asking you on a date to, to eat, to treat you. That's beta. 
That's, you don't want to do that. And then here's the thing. After you go on that hike or that, that walk in the park, you already letting her know in that same uh, uh, text that I'm going to cook dinner at my place afterwards. Want to join. So you're already going to do that. You already have what you have set up. And it's up to her to say, hmm, do I want to be a part of his life? Do I want to be a part of, of that date? And if she declines, it's no big deal because it's her loss. Because you're already doing what you said you were going to do tomorrow or Thursday or Saturday or whenever. And here's the thing. She'll think in her head, hmm, this guy is probably going to invite another girl. This guy probably has other chicks lined up, so I, I probably better take this offer right now. I better take this invitation to come do what he's already doing. See, that's what alpha males do. Alpha males say, hey, I'm going to do this. Do you want to come? And if she declines, it's whatever. That's her loss. It's always her loss when she declines to not want to do what you want to do. Beta males are always pleasers. They're always trying to say, hey, um, can I take you out? Hey, can, can, we, can I take you out here? Can I, can I show you that I'm worthy? Can I show you that I'm worth it? Can I do this? And this world, so many guys are getting burned because they don't know how the game works. And I'm giving you some quality game. So what you need to do is always invite her to what you're already doing. It doesn't even have to be a walk on a trail, guys, or, or a walk in the park. It could be something that you already do. You could be shooting pool. You can be bowling. You can be doing whatever. And you just invite her and say, do you want to do this? And it's going to show her that, oh, this guy has a fun life. As opposed to being rigid on a date and, and, and not wanting to mess up and not say the wrong thing. Uh, uh, and, and, and you're thinking, hmm, what should I say? Right? You, you, things flow really easy. Things are really effortless. They, they flow freely and you're not uptight. You're loose. This is why inviting a woman to do an activity that you have already planned and things that you already do is the best thing to do because it puts the pressure off her uh, to, to make the decision and have the responsibility to, to go on that date and, and, and whatever the case would be. And a lot of women, truth be told, they're like rigid and uptight when they're on that date because they don't want to say nothing off. So you want to go to a place where it's more so outdoors, where, you're, where you guys can walk, where you guys can talk, where you guys can be free. Not in a booth in a restaurant where she's uh, four feet across from you and you're sitting like this, or you got your hands twirling under your thing and both of you guys are nervous. And both of you guys don't want to say the wrong thing.